The Certified Ethical Hacker Certification is important for professionals who want to build a strong cybersecurity career, gain practical experience and increase their earning potential while staying competitive in a fast-growing industry. Cybersecurity incidents are exploding and so are cyber job opportunities. So if you are looking to build a career in one of the most in-demand fields today, the Certified Ethical Hacker Program is exactly what you need. CEH is recognized as the world's number one ethical hacking certification and offers a structured professional course designed for aspiring cybersecurity professionals. With CEH, you will be able to work anywhere in the world as it's globally recognized. So this comprehensive program covers the five phases of ethical hacking with hands-on learning through CyberQ Labs and you can also choose flexible learning options such as live, online or hybrid model. So if you are ready to master the world of ethical hacking and boost your career, the CEH certification is your gateway to success. On that note, hello everyone and welcome to this video on CEH V13 certification. In this video, we will go through the key updates in the CEH V13 certification. But before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for the Certified Ethical Hacking course CEH V13 AI. Join the world's number one CEH certification training to become an information security analyst and the course link is given in the description box below. Now, let's understand who is a Certified Ethical Hacker. A Certified Ethical Hacker is a cybersecurity professional trained to think and act like a hacker but with legal and ethical intentions. So, their main role is to find and fix vulnerabilities in computer systems, networks and software before malicious hackers can exploit them. Now, why become an ethical hacker? India is witnessing a huge surge in demand for ethical hackers due to the rapid digitization of services, the rise of online businesses and increasing cyber attacks. Sectors like banking, IT, telecom and e-commerce are investing heavily in cybersecurity, creating a growing need for skilled professionals. And reports indicate a 30% year-over-year increase in demand for cybersecurity experts, including ethical hackers. The US has one of the highest demand for ethical hackers, particularly due to its large tech industry, government agencies, and critical infrastructure sectors. And according to Cybersecurity Ventures, the US will face a shortage of around 5 lakh cybersecurity professionals by 2025. And the average salary for an entry-level ethical hackers in India is around 5 lakh 50,000 rupees per year and with experience, it can go up to 14 lakh rupees or more. And the average salary for an ethical hacker in the United States is around $115,000 per year with top earnings making up to $215,000 or more depending on the experience and location. Next, let's look at the career benefits of becoming a certified ethical hacker. Well, 95% of professionals choose CEH for career growth and one in every two professionals receive promotions after obtaining their CEH certification. CEH is recognized as the world's number one ethical hacking certification. So these statistics showcase how the CEH certification enhances career opportunities and positions professionals for promotions and career advancements in cybersecurity. Now that we have looked at the career benefits of becoming a CEH, so now let's see what's new in CEH version 30. This course uses advanced AI technologies to help you work faster and smarter. So you can improve your cybersecurity skills and be up to 40% more efficient. So first we have the AI powered learning. CEH V13 is powered by AI, which means you will learn to use the latest technology to find and stop cyber attacks. With AI, you can quickly respond to new threats and protect systems more effectively. And next is the hands-on practice. So you will get plenty of practices in this course. With hands-on labs, you will learn how to use real hacking tools and techniques. And this experience prepares you to handle real-world cybersecurity challenges. And next is the updated content. The course content is updated with the latest hacking techniques and defenses. So you will learn about the newest trends in cybersecurity and how to stay ahead of cyber criminals. Next is the productivity boost. This course helps you work faster so you will learn how to automate boring tasks 
make better decisions and detect threats quickly. So this will give you more time to focus on the important stuff. And lastly, we have real world challenges. You will also have the chance to test your skills in the global hacking competition. So compete with others, see how you rank and prove what you have learned. All right, having discussed what's new in CEH version 13, let's now take a closer look at the key skills and knowledge you will gain from this course. The Certified Ethical Hacker Certification will teach you essential skills to boost your career in cybersecurity, especially in the era of AI. So here's what you will learn in simple terms. First, find and fix security gaps. So you will learn how hackers find weak spots in system and how to fix them to keep your data safe. Next, become a security expert. So you will master the tools and techniques that professionals use to protect organizations from cyber threats. Then, protect your reputations. So you will learn how to prevent data breaches and maintain your company's trust and reputation. Next, use AI in ethical hacking. So you will learn how to use AI technologies to stay ahead of hackers and improve your cybersecurity skills. Now, let's have a look at the key features updates in the CEH V13 certification. So, the first phase is reconnaissance, next scanning and the third phase is gaining access, fourth phase is maintaining access and the fifth phase is clearing tracks. So with that in mind, let's move on to the CEH learning frameworks which is now powered by AI. So are you ready to revolutionize the way you learn ethical hacking? So let me walk you through the learn, practice, certify, compete framework, a powerful hands-on approach designed for the certified ethical hackers certification. So step one, we have learned. So first, you will gain critical skills through five days of in-depth training across 20 modules and over 220 hands-on labs with competition flags and access to more than 3,500 commercial grade hacking tools. Plus, you will learn how to hack multiple operating systems from Windows 11, Linux and Ubuntu to Android. Step 2 is Certified. So you will gain experience through ANAB accredited exams. So the CEH knowledge exam feature 125 multiple choice questions over 4 hours and the CEH practical exam which consists of 20 scenario based challenges over 6 hours proves your skills in real world situation. And step 3 is Engage. Here's where it gets exciting. So you will have the chance to gain recognition by conducting a real-world ethical hacking assignment and you will apply the five key phases, which are reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access and covering your tracks. Step four is compete. So finally, you can gain respect by taking on new challenges every month, including a four-hour competition where you will compete with peers from over the world. So hack your way to the top of the leaderboard earn recognition and show off your skills. Now, let's have a look at the course outline for the Certified Ethical Hacker program. It includes 20 modules, each designed to equip you with the essential skills in ethical hacking and cybersecurity techniques. So the first module is Introduction to Ethical Hacking. Next, Module 2 is Footprinting and Reconnaissance. Module 3 is Scanning Networks. Moving on, Module 4 is Enumeration. Module 5 covers Vulnerability Analysis, then Module 6 is System Hacking. The next modules are Malware Threats, Sniffing, Social Engineering, Denial of Services, Session Hijacking and Evading Ideas, Firewalls and Honeypots. And it also covers Hacking Web Servers, Hacking Web Application, SQL Injection, Hacking Wireless Networks, Hacking Mobile Platforms, IoT and OT Hacking, Cloud Computing, and finally, Module 20 covers cryptography. Now, let's take a look at the latest technology updates introduced in CEH V13, which includes Active Directory Attacks, Next, Zero Trust Architecture, Then, Ransomware Attacks and Mitigation, and then we have Defect Threats, Next, IoT Security Challenges, followed by which we have Critical Infrastructure Vulnerabilities, then we have cloud security, extended detection and responses, quantum computing risk and threats. Next we have post quantum cryptography and finally AI and machine learning in cybersecurity. Now 
let's have a look at the certified ethical hacker exam eligibility criteria so if a candidate has completed an official ec council training either at an accredited training center via the i class platform or at an approved academic institution in that case the candidate is eligible to attend the relevant ec council exam or the ceh program requires the candidate to have 2 years of work experience in the information security domain the candidate should be able to provide proof of this experience as validated through the application process unless the candidate attends official training next to attempt exams without training a candidate must first be approved via the eligibility application process to be considered for the ec council exam without attending training so remit a non refundable eligibility application fee is $100 The exam voucher price for Pearson Bio voucher is thousand one ninety nine dollars. The ECC exam voucher is nine fifty dollars. Next, moving on to the CEH V thirteen exam details. The Certified Ethical Hacker Version thirteen certification consists of two parts: a knowledge based exam and a practical exam. So together, they lead to the ultimate proof of your skills becoming a CEH master. So the first part of the CEH exam is the knowledge based exam. So it's a 4 hour test in which you will answer 125 multiple choice question based on the real world hacking scenarios. And the test is online via the ECC exam portal and the passing score is 60 to 85%. The knowledge exam will test your skills in information security threats and attack vectors, attack detection, attack prevention, procedure and methodologies. Next In the skills based practical exam this is a 6 hour exam in which you will face 20 real life hacking challenges and the passing score is 60 to 85% the practical exam is optional but will reward you with a higher level of certification so it will test your practical skills with port scanning tools vulnerability detection attacks on a system sql injection methodology and invention techniques web application security tools sql injection detection tool and communication protocols so once you pass both the knowledge and practical exams you will earn the prestigious ceh master certification so this dual certification proves that not only do you understand ethical hacking but you can also apply it in the real world situation so with the ceh v13 certification you will have the ultimate proof of your expertise in ethical hacking and cyber security Now let's take a quick overview of the key updates between the certified ethical hacker version 12 and version 13. So let's dive right into the changes. So first we have the total number of modules. So the total number of modules remains the same in both version with 20 modules in CEH V12 and V13. So there has been no changes here. However, the total number of slides has been reduced. CEH V12 had 1676 slides. while ceh v13 brings that number down to 1266 slides so this suggests that the material is more concise in the latest version moving on to labs ceh v12 offer 220 labs while ceh v13 has added more depth by providing 221 labs so these are broken down into 91 core labs and 130 self study labs available as part of an upgrade one significant update is the number of attack techniques The certified ethical hacker version 12 covered 519 techniques but the version 13 increased that number to 550 that's a noticeable increase giving learners exposure to more strategies next we have the new technology added so the ceh v12 introduced new technologies such as the meta attack framework for computing and techniques for evading nac and endpoint security whereas the ceh v13 however introduced a host of cutting edge topics and this include ai driven ethical hacking zero trust architecture ransomware mitigation and even quantum computing risk and post quantum cryptography the new syllabus also emphasizes ai and machine learning in cyber security deep fake threats and extended detection and response while ceh v12 led a strong foundation CEH V13 adds even more relevance to artificial intelligence, machine learning and advanced security models. So if you are aiming to stay ahead in the evolving world of cyber security, the updates in the CEH V13 certainly make it worth exploring. When choosing a CEH certification course, there are three options to suit different learning needs. 
So let me quickly walk you through them so you can decide which one is best for you. If you want the ultimate learning experience, the CEH Elite course is the best option. It gives you everything you need from study materials and lab access to unlimited exam attempts. You also get to compete with hackers worldwide in challenges. And the best part is, you can retake the exam as many times as you need so there is no pressure to pass on the first try. So for those who are focused on learning and want some hands-on practice, the CEH Pro is the great middle option. It gives you three exam retakes, a solid amount of lab time and five hacking tutorial videos. So it's perfect if you want a little extra support and flexibility with a couple of exam retakes but don't need the full range of features like competitions. Next is the CEH Learn and Certify. So if you're mainly looking to get certified and don't need much beyond the basics, this option will give you access to study materials, labs and one exam retake. So it's the most straightforward package and a good choice if you're confident in your skills and just need the essentials to pass the exam. So if you want the maximum support for everything, go for the CEH Elite. So if you're looking for a balanced approach with a room for retakes, CEH Pro is for you. And if you just need the basics, CEH Learn and Certify is your best option. Next, let's see who is CEH for. So the Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH is designed to empower a range of professionals and organization in the cybersecurity field. So the first, CEH is perfect for cybersecurity professionals. It helps you drive your career forward with cutting-edge skills in ethical hacking enhanced by the power of AI. Next, for teams and organization, CEH provides an opportunity to supercharge your team's knowledge. With CEH, your team is equipped with AI-powered ethical hacking skills. CEH is also trusted globally by government departments and military organizations. It's highly valued for its role in strengthening defense systems and cybersecurity initiatives. And for the educators, CEH offers a platform to create and grow your own cybersecurity courses and programs, empowering the next generation of cybersecurity experts. So whether you're a professional, an organization, part of the government or military, or an educator, CEH opens the door to new possibilities in cybersecurity. With this, we have come to an end to this video on CEH V13 certification. If you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel to learn more. And happy learning!